Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series, this is episode number 93. And today we're returning to two big games with our Bluebirds, I stick on Man City at home in the Premier League, then Barcelona at home in Fernandez's homecoming in the final Champions League group stage game. If we play the games though, just can't getting on off camera. And just the one game to show you off camera, in the last episode you saw our 2-1 win at the San Siro to guarantee qualification knockout stage of the Champions League, and of course that 1-1 draw at home to Arsenal. Uh, it came in midweek, we beat Fulham by two goals to nil away at Craven Cottage in the Premier League. Sterling scoring our first goal from this in. Felt sorry for the goalkeeper here though, he, he denied Sterling twice with a great double save, We've got no help from his defenders. As uh, Raheem turned in at the third time of asking to give us the lead, and uh, then uh, Navito Salza scored 21 minutes in, uh, the free agent Port Portuguese attacking midfield we picked up in the summer. Uh, lovely strike. So he's looking like a really good pick up on a free transfer, as we anticipated. Um, you know, he's, he's shown it across multiple leagues so far in his career so far. He's got another cap for Portugal as well since joining us. And I, I like the look of him a lot, man, I must say. But uh, 2 0 was the final score. And right now, as you can see in the Premier League, as you can see after the win, uh, we still remain undefeated like Arsenal. Us and the Gunners still yet to lose a game. And it's so tight. 16 games on the board. Liverpool lead the way, but only on goal difference ahead of Arsenal and we're right behind the both of them by just the two points. It's been a very, very good start to the season for several teams but I can't believe this man. My team, Millwall, I, I just, I'm, just, I'm just loving it man. Sixth place right now, seven wins in 16 games, only 13 goals conceded. Their goalkeeper is the joint top clean sheet maker in the season I believe and already 27 points on the board as well. It's been fantastic. And just before we do dive into the first game of today's episode, just one real briefing to show you as well, as we've now in December, uh, with a month to go before the transfer window opening, uh, where are we here, should be able to find it, there we are, uh, you can see the board have now made extra transfer funds available and they've risen our transfer budget from £20.5 million pounds to £37 million. Pounds. Of course, you remember at the start of the season, we had no money in our budget whatsoever, yet despite the fact the bank balance has been incredibly high, uh, they've finally given us a bit of money to spend now. So in January, if we wish to do so, uh, we can go and buy some players. Though, to be honest, I'm not really sure I'll, I'll do that. Obviously, we lost Van Dyke through retirement, but other than that, the squad is thick, the squad is in form, they're, they're gelling well in the dynamics as well. I don't, I don't really feel the need to make changes to this team unless a good deal becomes available. There is a midfielder for Juventus who's on the transfer list, but he's 59 million, so we can't afford him right now. But other than him, there's no one I'd really want to sign anyway, so I might as well just keep the money and uh, wait until the new stadium plans get announced. So, uh, first game of today's episode is the lunchtime kickoff as we take on Manchester City here at the Cardiff City Stadium. Uh, obviously, last season, we remember, City had an abysmal season, finishing in 11th place in the Premier League despite winning the Europa League. This season, not quite so bad. 8th place in the table, 8 wins from their first 16. They're a long way off Liverpool, but not too many points off the European places, so much better this year uh, under Yaya Torre. And this will be our team for the game. 4-2-3 or two attacker of course as always and this is our lineup right now in injury report just one player down uh, Raviotta twisted his ankle in training and he's going to be out for two to three weeks and of course we'll miss both of our games today so this is our lineup fans in goal Bafaro gone Cowers Kimpembe Jordi and Andre Rizzolo over Lenya and Ramsden through the middle third forward Sessignon on the left Dennis on the right the OG supporting Pedro Antonio up top and on the bench Henderson Umtiti Stefano McTominay Salza Sterling and Maria as well first game it's City let's keep the undefeated streak going go on you bluebirds can I mention it before? It's so weird that City were so poor last season because their team is fantastic. Both of their fullbacks, by the way, high earners and, and elite as well. Fabian Schaap, who I've seen before, and this guy came from Brighton, uh, Jack Burrell. Looks very good indeed. I really wish I would have put a, mid, uh, put a bid in in the summer. Uh, 62 million. Well, I could have done so. We didn't have the money, but I wanted to sign him for a while. And, uh, and now he's gone to City. But it's uh, still a very good team, but hopefully we'll get the win here and uh, overtake Liverpool and Arsenal at the top of the table. And I say to the boys, I fully expect that as well. I fully expect to keep our run going and win this match. Let's go get it. So first I like coming to Cardiff as the OG is going to try and cross to the middle. In it goes. Headed clear but straight to Alenia. And as we know, he can strike them from outside the area. Although that goal is going to go down. So no, it's that right back I just discussed earlier. Jack Burrell who deflects it past Edison and into the back of his own net. Alenia's shot was definitely bending. The wind seems to catch it as well. But I'm not sure it was going to creep in. But it does with the help of City's number two. Deflecting off his back. A very fortunate goal. But we'll take it. Cardiff won. City nil. And now let's see if we can go two goals up right before the break. Alain's got Goncalves at one. He's going to find him as well. Helder on the ball. Looking for a teammate. Back to Alenia. And now the OG takes over. And he can strike him as well. As can Dennis. 
And Dennis does strike it into the back of the net. One of our players of the season this year, having his best goal-scoring season in a Cardiff shirt in his sophomore year. Fires it into the top corner and doubles our lead directly after we took it. The OG on the ball, gives it to Matthias, takes a couple of touches, steps inside with the left foot. Wonderful technique. Finds the top corner. 2-0. Club record signing worth every single penny, no doubt about it. Matthias Dennis has been nothing short of spectacular since signing for us. And this season as well, he's really come into his own. Tackle there, but Ramsden picks it up for him and tries to cross. And it will drop to Sessignon, who squeezes it home at the near post for our third. Ramsden with a good delivery. Phil should have been cleared the far post, though, but Ryan is there and he turns it home for our third. Obviously, we've got Barcelona in midweek and a game where we must win to qualify the top of the group. So I think I might take off some starters here at halftime. I want to bring on Vitor Salazar because I like this kid a lot. I really do. I'm going to take off the OG and play him alongside Pedro Antonio up top there, the Portuguese duo. And I might also make one more change. Maybe Kimpembe from Titi. I'll leave it for now. But just a one change there. I, I like this kid a lot. I must say, he's, he's looked very good in the early stage of the season. Already three goals for the campaign. He's looking like a bargain on a free transfer. City have got the quality to get back into this game, but I can't really put my finger on why they've struggled so much, particularly over the past couple of years. As we know in the save, they've, they've never won the Premier League title. They haven't really been that good. They've, they've won the uh, Europa League. They won that last year. I'm pretty sure they won the Champions League at one point as well. But domestically, they just haven't been as strong as they have been. As Pedro Antonio is Nigel Edison in real life. It's, it's a strange one because, again, they've got the money. They, they've got the financial backing. They've got the players as well. But for some reason, it's just not clicking. Again, last year, as we might have just won a penalty as well, last year they started off with Carlo Ancelotti in charge and they replaced him midway through the season, brought in Yaya Torre. That has definitely helped, no doubt about it, based on where they've been this season, but as Alenya sends their Edison the wrong way, it's still a surprise. I mean, we're four goals up against a team who we, we've seen this year uh, domestically in, in, in English football have just been unstoppable. 4-0 though, and, and this is just... This is just strange. Long ball over the top to van der Plaus. Odrizola loses out. And, ah, oh, it's a great finish there. Now, this is a, uh, a striker from RB Leipzig, who I believe City bought for £99 million in the summer. And my plan, if Maria was to go, was to either sell the Dutch striker playing for Chelsea or buy this guy. Because he's got a great goal-to-game ratio. And he shows there he certainly can finish as well. 4-1, bit too late for a comeback, I think, though. And so that is going to do it then. 4-1. Shame we can keep the clean sheet. But of course, that's not what our season's been built on this year. It's been our high-powered offense as to our top of, the, top of the table right now. And we showed it in that game as well. Four goals. Uh, a very pleased result and performance. That was a fantastic display. And again, for now, that takes us top of the table in the Premier League. Good stuff. 45 goals in 17 games. As things stand, we're on pace to hit 100 goals in the season for the first time in the series so far. Uh, Liverpool and Arsenal still yet to play, though. That, that coming today, uh, Arsenal, yeah, both games. So Liverpool away at Huddersfield and Arsenal in the evening away at Craven Cottage. We'll see what goes on there and see if we can stay top as well. Come on, Huddersfield. No, Liverpool get the win by the goal to nil. Millwall getting a point away at Old Trafford, though. The, the goalkeeper, he's got more clean sheets than almost anyone else in the division. He's on loan from Arsenal right now. He's got dual nationality uh, with Ghana. He's, uh, he's been on fire for the Lions. I'm absolutely loving this, but uh, the, the last game was the Icelandic kid, Canel Crotone, get a win there at the San Siro. Last game is uh, the final kickoff. That's Arsenal away against Fulham in the London derby, and Arsenal got the win. So sadly, neither Huddersfield or Fulham could do us a favour, and that means we drop back down to third place. We're only leading the league for a matter of hours then, but look at how tight it is right now. Three teams separated by two points as we approach the halfway point. Chelsea also just beat Norwich at Stamford Bridge as well, so the gap now cut on us to four, and the league leaders Liverpool and Arsenal to six. So it does seem as though it's going to be a four-horse race for the title this year if Chelsea can keep pace, which I think they should be able to do. They've certainly got a team to do that. And Manchester United, not, not, not that many points behind, but you'd say it's a top four right now. Us, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Chelsea as well. And oh, Jason, not again, not again. I have been thinking about asking for a move away from the club. It means a lot you come to speak to me about it. I feel a lot better about being here now, so there's no need to worry. Jason, come on, mate. You said, you said this last year. You said last year you've achieved all you can, and at the end of the season you won the Premier League. You haven't won the Champions League yet, Jason. Remember that? 
So second and final game of today's episode it is indeed the final Champions League group stage game where again don't forget we must win by three clear goals tonight to qualify in top spot. Uh, we have a game on the weekend but that's against Arsenal in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Come on the weekend that game fully enough the Carabao Cup game there and uh, and because of that we're going to feel the weak inside in that game so we can feel the stronger lineup in this one uh, of our next Premier League game coming in six days time away at Vicarage Road. And of course, don't forget that the prize finishing top of the group is facing an unseeded team in the second, uh, sorry, the first knockout round of the Champions League. So it's Fernandez's homecoming. Of course, don't forget, he's come back before last season in a friendly, but this is his real homecoming, his competitive game against us. And let's see how he gets on. 4-2-3 uh, on once again, and uh, Rabiot, of course, still down and out for the game. And this will be our team. Dean comes in, so he, play, he plays in the big games, Dean. And the back four has gone Calves, Kimpembe, Jordi, and Odrizola. Alenia and Brahim now through the middle together with uh, an attacking field trio. Cessna on the left, Dennis on the right, and the OG supporting Pedro Antonio up top. And on the bench, fans and Titi, Stefano, Rams, and Towers of Sterling and Maria as well. Second and final game, Fernandez is homecoming. I bet he bags out to it tonight. Come on, you blue birds. You will definitely be up for it, but Lenio, no doubt about it. Uh, they were leading the league, Barcelona, last time I checked on them. He's got 5 in, in 14 in La Liga as well. They still leading the league. They aren't, actually. They're now three points behind Real Madrid. He just can't be stopped in this save. It's unbelievable. But he's going to be up for it, but Lenio. I'm looking forward to it, though. It should be fun to see how he gets on today. And I will passionately say as well, we owe Barcelona after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge against them. And on Fernandes as well. And let's see if the boys can pick it up today. No Maria. No Maria. I just, I just can't play him in these sort of games, man. He's a bag of nerves every single time. But still, come on, Carve. Let's get that win and, uh, and see if we can get a couple of goals and top the group two. OG to Sessegnon. An early goal to us to well. The good as Alenia finds a bit of space and shoots and scores. Carl Zalenya scoring against one of his former teams. Eight minutes in. We need three tonight. There's number one. Sessegnon finds Carl's on the edge of the area. Dribbles inside and Carl's with the finish. He's such a great goal scoring midfielder. Gets his seventh of the year. 1-0. Now let's get a second. On Carla Guedes for Barcelona down the left-hand side into Gerard, And here is Bert Lenio Fernandez. Booed with every touch. Well, not really. We like Fernandez. As Guedes sends it long and Nelson Semedo flicks it on. And here come the visitors. Nice storming run, but the shot from range trickles wide. Of no, I like Fernandez. I'm not going to boo him. I like Fernandez. Good start to the game this day. Gonzalez on the ball. He's going to find Matthias Dennis. And as Dennis tries his luck from range, that almost... Caught the goalkeeper out, still 1-0. Going to encourage the boys from the sidelines here, because we're playing well at the moment. Nelson Semedo's long ball, cut out by Presnel Kimpembe, who beat Fernandes to the ball, and now Gonzalez can hit it out wide towards Dennis. Down the right, stepping in field. Matthias Dennis tackled, but it drops to Gonzalez, and there's our second. 21 minutes in, the OG with the finish. Cardiff City 2, Barcelona 0. Barcelona won the first game 3-1 against us. So again, don't forget we have to score a minimum of three goals tonight. It goes head-to-head -head and then goal difference in the Champions League. So there's our first two. Get another goal though, and we'll be really fancying our chances. Dennis down the right-hand side, stepping in field, lays it off to Pedro Antonio. Pedro Antonio, Cardiff City 3, Barcelona 0, and all the fans are thinking, why didn't you do this last year in the semi-final, JC, you fucking fraud. Dennis on the ball though, steps in field, rolls it off to our number nine, and an elect electric, a, 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 clip, a, clip, a, a good finish into the bottom corner. I don't know trying to say there. 3-0 and Cardiff City are on fire. The OG has picked up a knock but for now he's okay to run it off. 3-0 at the break. The body language is very good. Fernandez is furious out there as well. He is fuming. The fans singing songs at his expense as we're three goals to the good. And again as things stand we're going to leapfrog them on the final group game. So I was going to say nothing to the boys. Leave things as they are and just get them straight out there for the second half. We're going top. I might have won him a domestic double, but that wasn't enough for these fans. They've got very high aspirations. It's gone. Carlo Guedes tries his luck, but fires over the bar. Barcelona get a goal, and we'll need to get another one. So for now, the, 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 main, the, the, main, the main job for us now should be to stay tight defensively. If we get a fourth goal, it's a bonus. But really, shut the door, and, and that'll be that. But as Zelenia finds Dennis, we know that this season it's not been our defence to see us be uh, be so good. It's, uh, it's our high-powered offence, which continues here as Dennis was sent forward but hits the woodwork. And Barcelona clear. We are just unstoppable in attacking. Corner for Cardiff. Rams and off the bench takes it. And at the far post, Pedro Antonio denied by Ter Stegen. Another goal. And it's, it's all over. Come on, boys. 
We are going for this. We're not shutting up shop. We're going for that fourth goal. I love it. Ramsden on the ball. Gives it to Carls. And Cocky Carls feeds into Pedro Antonio. He has his ball cut out though. And now the long ball over the top is headed clear by Kimpembe. And I'm just realising Fernandes has now been sent out to the right wing for Barcelona. Interesting enough. As Cessignon lays it off to Salza. And Vitor Salza. Wonderful run to Stegen. Claims it though. Still 3-0. Throw for Cardiff as Marquinhos heads it clear. And again, Barcelona must score if they are to finish top and retake the lead at the top of the table. But Kimpembe robs his man. Safe Presnel Kimpembe wins it back. And now Dennis gets around his man, finds Pedro Antonio. He's done the same. And that will wrap it up. A night we'll remember at the Cardiff City Stadium for quite some time. Cardiff City 4, Barcelona 0. Had to win by three clear goals. We score four. Dennis to our number nine. We said this a couple of episodes ago. These two are striking up an unlikely bromance, and I really like it. Dennis into our number nine, in off the post, and that will do it. Cardiff City four, Barcelona nil. We top the group with 15 points on the head-to-head -head record after a sensational match day six display here in South Wales. That was incredible. Every single time we went, we went forward, we looked like scoring there. That was brilliant. And it's not over yet. Goncalo is going for goal over the bar. And now it'll be over. Truly incredible, that performance. Did not see that coming at all. 4-0 to the final score. And I'm going to be passionate as well. Passionately, I'm going to say I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. That The whole team averaged a very high rating. The lowest with fans on a 7.2. And that's mainly because he had very little to do in that game. We shut the door on Barca for the most part. And we just, 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 just constantly sliced them open every time we were going forward. And again, that does mean we do qualify as group winners. And our prize for doing that means that in the first knockout round, we'll be taking on a side that finished second place in their group. So that'll be either me. Milan, uh, it can't be an English team, so it'll be Milan, Benfica, Schalke, Borussia Dortmund, or that's it. Okay, I'm just realising as well, one of those teams who we could face is Schalke 04. And uh, we've seen Fernandes have his homecoming, then we'll see the homecoming of Andre Onana, I'd absolutely love that. But uh, when's the, ch that, is that today, the Champions League draw, is that tomorrow? Uh, one second, Champions League draw is, oh it's on Monday. I thought it was Thursday or Friday, but it's, it's, it's going to be on Monday. We've got a game on Saturday. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, I'll, I'll play the, the game on Saturday, sort of just off camera, if you will, and I'll just show you the highlights. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the first knock around draw for you in the episode, as promised. But, uh, yeah, I'll, just, I'll play that game on camera. It's a meaningless game anyway, and uh, I'll show you what happens for the draw. So here we are, draw for the first knockout round of Champions League, and that is how we'll end today's episode off. Uh, we did just play that game against Arsenal in the Carrick quarter final, where the Emirates, of course, did lose the game, as we fielded a totally weakened side. As you can see, even Jonathan Orm got on to pitch for the game. 3-1 uh, the, the final score. Uh, Arsenal scored two quick goals in the first 26 minutes. And uh, I, was just, I was just thinking, yeah, like the, the quicker this game is over and I can get to the Champions League uh, first knockout round draw, the better for me. I'm, I'm far more interested in this. Obviously, we said before, you know, that the board don't care about the competition at all. And therefore, neither do we. We've got far bigger fish to fry. We saw this year in real life, you know, the, the domestic treble, uh, unprecedented Man City win this year. Very good achievement, but it's not something we're bored about at all. If the board don't care about it, then simply put, neither do I. 3-1 uh, the final score, Arsenal get the win. And that's totally fine with me. And again, you see there in the uh, the boy expectations, it's, it's considered not important. So I, I, I could not care less. We, we, the fixture list is so thick as it is. We could do without the other competition. So if we get through it's a bonus, otherwise not important. But uh, still, draw for the first knockout round of the Champions League. Let's see who we'll be taking on then in the last 16. Again, we are seeded for the draw, which means we'll be taking on one of these sides in the bottom here. Uh, we can't face Barcelona because we have in the group. Can't face Chelsea. Can't face City or can't face Spurs. Iris, their English team. So it's going to be either Milan, Champions League final repeat of season six, Benfica, Dortmund or Schalke, Onana's homecoming. So let's find out who's going to be in the round of 16. It's not Schalke. And we can't get those teams. Can't get that team either. Could be Milan. It is Milan. It's Milan in the round of 16. Honestly, out of all of those teams there, I would say that's probably the one I didn't want to face based on what happened in season six. Oh, okay. Milan in the Champions League round of 16. First leg away at the San Siro. They are the best team in Italy. We know that. Last year, Lazio won the championship. As we've seen throughout the course of the save, they have been winning the trophy most other years. They are top of the table right now as well. 
They won the Champions League at our expense back in Season 6. Their team is fantastic as well. A lot of class players in there. A lot of elite talent. That striker must be very good indeed. Andrea Serio. We faced him before. Might have done. Oh, my word. This is... How long is he injured for? No, it'll be fine. Donnarumma? Oh, Donnarumma's going to be out of the tie. But, uh, oh, my goodness. Milan in the round of 16. Can we avenge our demons? Oh, see, Can we avenge our demons and reach the quarterfinals? I'm not too optimistic. Who did Barcelona get, by the way? Uh, Arsenal. Oh, we couldn't face them anyway. Anyway, that will do it for today's episode then. I hope you enjoyed it. If you had, then please do drop a like. As like, so of course, very much appreciated. And we'll channel out as well. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day. And I think what we'll do is we'll return in the very next episode back in January. Can't miss that Liverpool game away at Anfield. And we could do Millwall, my team in form right now, at the Cardiff City Stadium as well. Or perhaps Spurs at home. Probably makes more sense to do Spurs even though Milder in better form right now. Or maybe in the triple header. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in the next episode. But have a great day, guys, though. Uh, much love to you. And I will see you for the next episode very soon. Milan. Those demons. Oh, man. Bye now.